This video is me attempting to be a Death Eater. Well, a digital one, anyway. It's also about just creating and controlling clouds in Blender and making shapes from them. And since the Dark Mark is way cooler than Cloud Turtles, I tried it. First, I needed a skull. I found one on Cavnad.com. If you search for it, you'll find like 10 of them for free. This one just lets me use it for anything. It came in as one whole piece, so I had to cut it up. In edit mode, I'd selected the jawline and teeth, hit Ctrl plus a number of times, then chose Mesh, Separate by Selection. Now I had two pieces, and luckily the pivot rotation was in a good spot, just like magic. Wasting no time, I keyframed the jaw closed at frame 1 and open at frame 44, where I'd figured I'd wanted this whole thing to end. Next, I changed my focal length and set the camera position to something not boring, something that looks ominous. I set two keyframes here as well to push in just a little bit on the skull. Now I set the skull moving as well. That usually makes for more intense animation than just having one thing move while the camera's locked. We're in the air here, so let's fly. Don't worry though, the cool part's coming up soon. In the graph editor, I made the curves for the animation linear interpolation so that the camera doesn't come to a weird stop. I just like to keep things in motion like this video. Here, I gave him huge eyebrows because, well, uh, eyebrows, and I wanted more shape to the shadows and the clouds later, but I ended up killing these, but wh wh whatever. I was going to make a vampire fang here too, but said screw it. Now for the cool part. I did a test with mesh to volume using Blender's VDB system, and I got this. My project was in peril. I had to find a way to fix it, and the clock was ticking before my next client revision came in. I tried object, quick effects, quick smoke, and there. Instant cloud. I hit play and no, <laughs> nope, nope, not 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 clouds. More more suck. I knew I could control it somehow, so I went to the panel where all the power comes from. First, my skull was looking like a Minecraft screen after looking at Facebook for five seconds. <laughs> you just did too. So I needed to up the resolution. I tried 128 and better. Your computer might hate this. I I don't know, so be careful here. I turned on adaptive domain here so it would only add memory to the parts that get the smoke effect. This is a real computer saver, and I definitely highly recommend using it. Then, under the gas settings, I turned everything to point 0.1. This seemed to slow things down a bit and look more cloud-like. I then hit dissolve and turned it to like 10, so the effect will dissipate over 10 frames and it won't fill the screen with lots and lots of clouds that'll kill my computer. I hit play and not, not bad, it was working. This is about after an hour of screwing around with the settings, by the way. It didn't just, like, magically happen. Like, I'm, I'm not a wizard. I'd totally be Filch or, or worse, like, a Hufflepuff or something and get no screen time. This was looking cool, so I wanted to see what it would look like rendered. I added a sunlight, turned on cycles for the rendering, and rotated the light until I was happy. Then I went into the shading window and upped the density of the smoke. There, it looked like le leather face. After a while longer, tweaking the settings, which are all up on Patreon for this file if you want, I found something I'd liked. This effect was cool, but it comes from clouds, so I needed clouds. This is simple, as I've done tutorial videos on doing clouds in Eevee before, so I just took a box, gave it a principled shader, added in a vector math node, set it to length to calculate the distance from the center of the box to the not center, multiplied it with a noise texture, fed that into another math node set to less than, which allows us to pull the clouds back from the edges of the box, then added another multiply node so that I can control the power of the effect, then plugged that into the density port of the volume shader, and there, clouds. <laughs> That's simple. There's so many videos showing you how to do this already on YouTube. I'll throw some in the link in the description so you can check them out. I, I kept this one really simple. Next, I just copied, pasted, moved, and rotated these clouds around until I filled out the screen and made some smaller so I could get the nice wispy edges, or at least fake them for this video. I did a few tests that sucked, added in some lights that sucked, and almost said screw it until I backed off the effect of the smoke and I took off the stupid eyebrows. I also added some roll to the clouds so they slightly change over time. I didn't need to run a whole sim on the clouds and could probably fake the interaction with the other clouds for a few seconds as the shot rolls for. I added hashtag or pound frame times .001 into the W slot on the noise for the box cloud shader, which will just iterate over time and make them roll. And I also went and turned on noise for the fluid effect on the smoke domain object. After playing with the settings, I found that these ones worked. It doubled the resolution of my sim, but still only took about 512 at the highest, and my machine can handle that. But be careful here, though. It'll double your sim and it could crash your machine. Also, one thing you need to do when doing this is delete your cache often. If you don't, when you turn on noise, you may not see anything. Deleting it fixes that and builds a whole new cache with your changes. I rendered it and nice. I brought it into Resolve, added some blur, removed a bit of noise, colored it and not too bad. 
I'd usually use Houdini for this type of thing, but I really, really wanted to try it in Blender. And I'm pretty okay with these results, pretty much. Try it out for yourself and hit subscribe if you want. See ya.